is up, fellow weeb piece of shit human beings? I'm here to talk to you about Glepnir, the Evangelion of our generation. Except it's also FNAF. It's it's anime FNAF. It's it's anime FNAF. It's goddamn FNAF. So Glepnir, what is it about exactly? Well, it's mainly about this kid who can transform into Springtrap from FNAF. That's you cannot tell me that's not Springtrap from, from FNAF. That's all it is. And this girl named Claire, who literally goes inside of him, and it's, it's, you know, I've seen hentai, but this is somehow more sexual than an actual sex scene. Just, just watch it. It's almost uncomfortable, but that's what Glepnir does really well. Making you very close to being uncomfortable, but just on the edge where it's okay. At least from my perspective. <laughs> maybe that wasn't okay for you, maybe you're scarred, and if you are, I'm not sorry. Now, you may be wondering, how did he get this power to transform into Springtrap from FNAF? Well, as a matter of fact, in Glepnir, how it works is that there are these coins, and you put them in a vending machine, and this rapist motherfucker comes out and gives you the option of power. Turns out, there's a Sundari looking ass bitch that fucking loves Suishi to death, and so she gave him this power. That's a kind of fucked up way to, way to show that you like somebody. You could have just gave him a note, a hug, a kiss. I'm sure those would all been better than fucking making him a permanent friend furry without telling him. <laughs> but yeah, that's what she did, and he had no idea. He never knew about this. Uh, he, all he knows that is that he can transform. And eventually, he meets his girl, Claire, who is the fucking partner in crime, the one that goes inside of him. Uh, literally trying to kill herself in a burning building. He proceeds to save her, and uh, in true, true Glepnir fashion, smells her panties. Cause, cause anime. <laughs> and this is where the journey begins to collect all the coins, and that's basically the whole story, and the rest of the show revolves around that. But the story's not too exceptional, it's quite basic if I would say so myself. What's really special is the execution. First off, the fights in Glepnir are actually pretty dang good. They have a lot of weight to them. You can feel the impact of strikes and attacks. And it, it's a really cool and refreshing thing to see compared to a lot of bland other enemies where they just get punched and they just stand there and it's like... Well, shit. That, that was pointless. <laughs> But, of course, that's not why you're here. It's a cool supplementary fact, but you're here for that sweet, sweet sexual goodness, ain't ya? Fucking degenerate. Well, yeah, as you probably saw from the thumbnail, it's not the most child-friendly anime around. It has a lot of pointless sexuality thrown in just because there's no real reason. It reminds me of Death Note in a way just because it has that insane amount of edginess just because it can. And that's not a bad thing. It really isn't. For example, in this scene, Claire is trying to join a new guild, and in joining this guild, you have to do a, an initiation process, kind of, sort of deal. So they go to a bedroom, of course it's a bedroom, right? <laughs> and of course it's a girl takes her, and gets on top of Claire, and um, starts playing with her, starts flicking the bean! She, she starts flicking the fucking bean! <laughs> just, no relent, just flicking the fucking bean, man! She has good technique though, I will give her that. And yeah, after that scene finishes, you learn that that, that scene had nothing to do with the initiation. Like genuinely, the leader just wanted to do that. She didn't need to, because it's not even the process to get initiated. That was just a completely different scene that was just there to be fucking there. And that's what I love about the show. It's overly sexual just to be sexual. It's overly edgy just to be edgy. It's gory for the f sake of being fucking gory. And that's a good thing. The amount of isekais out there, I thought I was gonna fucking go insane for the next fucking isekai was announced. Thank goodness Glepnir hasn't been canceled due to the virus, though even half the shows I fucking wanted to watch were canceled. But Glepnir isn't, and if you're into this sexual, edgy goodness, then Glepnir is definitely gonna wet your whistle. Now to be fair, there are just more bloody and more gory and more sexual animes out there, but I feel Glepnir is a good in-between, because a lot of those are just 
gory, sexual, and that's it. They don't have an actual story. Their fights suck if they have any fights at all, like real fights, instead of just people dying. But in Gluttonir, it has a nice balance to the point where I think it's a pretty good show. And I'd probably give it around a 9.5 out of 10. Just uh, make sure your door is locked when you watch it.